All right, we're gonna do a little uh, video on how to sync two Solixes. I have a Solix 15 and a Solix 12. These are both Gen 3s, but that does not matter. I just did, I just did updates on both of these to 3.98. My recommendation is I always take one of them off the network when I'm updating and make sure nothing on the network is on. For example, I don't want the trolling motor on. But as long as you disconnect one, I'd say you're fine. Also, when you're done updating, go ahead and reset defaults. And if you don't know how to reset defaults, it's right here. And you go to settings. And right at the bottom, it says restore defaults on the Solix. And so you punch restore, it says restore factory defaults, and boom, you're back to factory defaults. Might be a little rocky, but can't help that here. All right, so a little shortcut. If you wanna go back to the screen you left, hold the X down and it'll take you back, just like that. All right, so here we go. So this one is on the network and it's fired up. So we're gonna fire up the 12 and of course, you know, we're gonna, it may take it a minute, but that's okay. You can enjoy my re reflection and the rocky boat. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. I'm on my way out to crappie fish and just thought about making this video. Wish I could, if any of you watching this video have a clue how I can cut the glare when I'm filming, uh, my wife is a uh, rather, or is a photographer that is very good at her craft, even though it's not her job. And I have tried every filter that she owns, and I have cannot find one that, that cuts the glare for me. Okay. All right, now I have restored defaults on both these units. And when this unit connects to the network, I don't know what I'm showing you that for. I could be showing you a 2D screen. Aha, there we go. Okay, so the 12 just connected the network. When it reaches the point where both of them are at this point, go to the 12 or one of them, and this is what's gonna pop up. Now, here's what's important. You, the top one says, or this is the 12. You see it right here? This one is a 15. It always pops up with the default unit check. Let me go back to the 15. Okay, notice the default unit is checked. What you want to do at this point, and this is where people make mistakes and dealers for the most part, is you want to choose the other unit. It doesn't matter if you choose the 15 on this one or if you choose the 12 on this one. So we're going to choose the 12. We're gonna go down to sync network. It says all NATA debt will be saved, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sync. All right, so it's gonna sync these net, the waypoints. This, the 12 has no waypoints on it, so we're gonna confirm. It's gonna go over, it's gonna say configuring network. And it does it on both of them. I guess I could have done this inside and the glare wouldn't be so bad, but that's okay. It's a rough video, it's not professional. I think it'll get the point across. Now my 12 in this case does not have a transducer connected, but once the networks are synced, the transducer will connect. All right, now, because I've chose, because I used the 15 and chose the 12, this pops up on the 12. Tells what's all been synced to the 12. It will automatically go away. You hit confirm, and then you can check to make sure. Boom, side images work, so everything is sharing. All right, okay, y'all have a nice day.